Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's session, I'm here to discuss how to enable just-in-time VM access within Azure Security Center. So when you deploy your machines within Azure, you have this option of deploying with a public IP address and opening the port management port such as port 3389 or port 22. Now the problem with that approach is that if that management port is open, that will act as a door for the bad guys to get into your machines. So that is why it is recommended that you either have a site-to-site -site VPN connection or maybe a point-to-site VPN connectivity and measures such as uh, maybe long passwords or you can optionally enable just-in-time VM access which means that uh, you'll be opening the port only during specific time and maybe from specific IP address range. And that is what we are going to test out today. So for today's demonstration, I'll be using the machine with the name BE, as you can see. And it is under Resource Group VTRG and Canada Central and it's in running state. Now let me show you the experience without enabling the just-in-time VM access. If I can go under settings and go to networking, you will see that a public IP has been assigned to this machine. And when you create this machine, by default, it creates a network security group. And you can see that RDP port is open. And that's why you see this exclamation sign here that generally it is not recommended. That's what Microsoft is saying. So it is open from anywhere, basically, right? And if I want, I can just go and uh, download the RDP file. And uh, let me see if it let me in here. And you can see I'm able to connect to it, no problem, right? But this is not the way generally things are done in the production environment. So what I want to show you is go to the security center portal because the prerequisite of just-in-time VM access is that you need to have Azure Defender. So as you know, security center comes in two flavor. You get a free and you get a paid version. And the paid version is Azure Defender. So under cloud security, let me go to Azure Defender. And if I scroll down, you can see just in time VM access, I see one machine which is unprotected. Under not configured, this is the machine we're going to test it out, right? So let me just go and select it and enable just in time VM on this machine. And uh, I'm going to use the port 3389. And if I expand these three dots here, or actually double tap on this uh, tab on port 3389, it opens this plate for me. And I can specify the protocol here, allowed source IPs, it can be per request, or I can just put the complete zero block here from where I can allow the access to this machine. I, in this case, I'm going to use per request and will show you how to uh, activate the request. And I'm saying that uh, the maximum request time is one hour. So for one hour only, this port will be open and click on OK. And I will save the setting. So you can see just in time VM access has started here, right? And I just refresh the page. You can see that uh, the approved request is zero right now. So what I'm going to do is I will request access. But before I do that, let me just go back to the NSG of uh, this specific machine. So you can see that by enabling that just-in-time VM access, a uh, security rule is configured over here, right? With priority, you can see security center just-in-time against the port that I have specified and protocol destination and by default it is getting denied so say for example now if i go and uh, try to connect i'll download the rdp file here and uh, i shouldn't be able to get access to this machine now you can see that uh, it's not letting me in which is absolutely fine but uh, we'll try to request the access so let me go back here select the machine and request access here. And uh, I'm going to specify the port 3389, change this button to on. And I'm saying that to open this port for one hour, you can specify the enter request justification. So I'm just putting test for here. 
and I'm saying that uh, you can specify my IP or you can put the IP range, right? Uh, I'm just taking the default here, my IP, and click on open port. So it's validating. You can see just in time, network access request has been initiated here, right? Now let me go back to the portal here and let me just try to see if I can connect to this machine. It is asking for my credential, which I'm going to provide. And here you go. I'm now able to access this machine for a specific window over here, right? And if I can go back to the networking tab, you can see that uh, there is some activity over here, right, uh, that uh, I'm accessing. And you can also go into further who is accessing this machine. But this way it gives you a secure way of opening the port for only specific duration. And you can do the management work. And after that specific time, that uh, port will automatically close. So this was the way of uh, how to enable just-in-time VM access all by using Azure Security Center. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.